And welcome back with well, the DEA has partnered with CADCA and Bernalillo County in New Mexico to offer a free training for businesses seeking to address problematic substance use and misuse in the workplace. Here to provide us with more details about the free training is Carlos Briano, the public information officer for the El Paso DEA division. All sounds very intriguing, Carlos. So why exactly is the DEA first and foremost engaging in this type of training? Well, the DEA since 1985 has been part of prevention, education, of course. Yep. And as we were talking uh, off camera, 80% of the people who struggle with substance use disorder, they have a job. So whether employers want it or not, it's going to carry over into the workplace. So this train is going to help them what to, what to do about it. How can they assist their employees who are struggling with those issues, what they're required uh, from the law, et cetera, et cetera. So, and it's free. So if someone's listening and wants to take advantage of it, you know, please take advantage of this training. Yeah, that's the big thing that I was wondering because back in the old days, maybe a few years, few years ago even, it used to be you thought at least you have a substance abuse problem, you're out of a job. But companies can't really afford to do that any longer. No, we all know that uh, the cost of training an employee is high. Yeah. The cost of losing an employee is, is also high. And when their employees are uh, struggling with substance use disorder, that brings a cost to business. So that's what we're gonna show them to. What are some of the, uh, the benefits to the company, to the entity of having a drug-free workplace and assisting their employees with that? And I can imagine if you do have an issue with whatever substance it might be, losing a job, losing a paycheck, losing that steady day-to-day -day routine could be adverse, have an adverse right. impact as well. It could have a negative impact on their colleagues as well yeah. that now have to pick up the slack for an employee right. that, that is gone or that is struggling with that. So there's many benefits to taking this, this training. If you want more information, please visit abq.dea.gov mm -hmm. uh, and you can register. It's completely free. The DEA is paying for it in partnership with Bernalillo County. Uh, that's the county where Albuquerque is, and of course with CATCA, who are experts in this uh, field. You mentioned the DEA. It's not just about busting drug rings. If you can prevent it in the first place, that's a win for you guys as well. We've always been a part of prevention education since 1985. And in Albuquerque, we have an operation called Operation Engage, mm -hmm. and this is part of that. And we're trying to engage with the community, not just with students and teachers and parents, but right. also now with faith-based organizations and employers, of course. Again, that is abq.da.gov. Of course, opening up that conversation with someone, if you see the signs, how do you go about that? That's going to be part of the training, too. Uh, how can employers recognize signs in their employees that they may be struggling with substance use disorder? It's going to be a great training. What are some of the signs, just really quickly? I mean, tardiness, absences, that sort of thing? Those or, or are some, and like we've shared with, the, uh, with parents, too, when things that used to be important for mm -hmm. them, are no longer important right. that's a big sign with our kids you know if they're big into sports and suddenly they're not lose interest completely yeah, yeah that that that's a sign and so we're going to discuss all that with employers at this training it will be in person in uh, Bernalillo County mm -hmm. if they go visit abq.da.gov all the information what time the location uh, how you can register is all available there at that uh, link. Very important for employers and employees. Carlos, yeah. thank you so much for the time. Thanks for letting us talk about Always. this. Always. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.